Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet and Valentine's Day is just around the corner and there's really two different ways you can kind of go for Valentine's Day as far as your look. There's the sort of sweet romantic look and then there's like the sexy boudoir look. So today I'm going to show you how to do a sweet romantic look for Valentine's Day and then next week I'm going to be showing you how to do the sort of sexy boudoir look. So let's get started with my sweet romantic makeup look. Now I've already started with my base makeup. If you would like to see how I do my base makeup, I will link that video below. And I just did a quick little touch up and uh, pencil in of my eyebrows just because I'm not doing anything all that special with my eyebrows. I just sort of clean them up a little bit. I'm gonna start with eyes. For a base, I've been loving Maybelline Color Tattoo. I'm like slowly collecting their entire color palette and I just I love them because they're they're so good alone but they're also so great as just like a cream eyeshadow base so for this one I decided to go with a pink because we're going romantic and this color is inked in pink and I'm just gonna do a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to very lightly go over the entire lid just make sure you blend it all in Next, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Romantic Eye Color Palette. I am obsessed with Too Faced color palettes. They are just, I'm just loving them. They're so cool, like all the different colors that come in them, and you get like a card usually or some kind of a booklet that tells you like different ways to use them. To be honest with you, I've never actually read any of them because I just kind of do my own thing, but. It's really great if you're a beginner and you don't really know where to start with eyeshadows. Just pick up a Too Faced palette. This is the Romantic Eyes because I'm going for a romantic makeup look. Uh, but they have so many different... I, I use the Natural Eyes one probably like every day. I'm going to go actually with the classic look which is like the mid-range. And I'm going to start with Kiss the Bride which is a pinky color. And I'm using one of my Too Faced brushes. And I'm just going to go over... It's kind of like my base was a pink, and so this color is just another pink, and it's really going to seal it in. I'm loving the combination of Maybelline Color Tattoo and my Too Faced shadow palettes. Like, I feel like they're my go-to blend for eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to go with the middle shade, which is called Cut the Cake. It's a very sort of silvery purple, and I'm going to take more of a flatter brush, and I'm just going to go right in the crease. It's going to be really subtle. Again, this is like a very soft makeup look. Next, I'm going to use my Too Faced uh, slanted brush. And I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is First Dance. It's like a very deep purple. And I don't want to overdo this, so I always kind of try to shake the brush a little bit. And then I'm just going to go right very gently in the crease here on the very edge to give it a little bit more of a smoky look. And I'm going to go really simple with eyeliner um, because this is obviously more of a softer romantic look. Um, but I just absolutely love like a liquid eyeliner with a little flick. And I'm actually obsessed with my new Kat Von D tattoo liner. If you are a beginner at liquid eyeliner, this is the one that you have to get. This is just the absolute here all end all in eyeliner and I can't do it in the camera like I was doing the rest of my makeup so I'm gonna have to do it in a mirror while I'm balancing so we'll see how good I actually am at liquid eyeliner it is so it's impossible to look attractive when you're doing liquid eyeliner you have to make faces like to finish off the eyes we're just going to curl the eyelashes again not the most attractive thing but whatever sometimes prepping to look great for a romantic night is like really, really not romantic. <laughs> then I'm gonna add Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which again, a little racy for a romantic look, but it just gives you the best like long flirty eyelashes. And now the eyes are done. I'm actually going to, because I'm going to be using a kiss proof lipstick because of course you're going for like this romantic look so you want to make sure that your lips are going to last all night so I'm actually using Maybelline Super Stay and I can never say that it's I keep saying Super Stay it's Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour lip color and I'm using Timeless Rose because I feel like that's just so it's such a romantic name and it's such a beautiful like rose color 
And the thing is the lipstick takes a little while to dry. So I'm going to put it on and then let it dry while I'm doing the rest of my face. So I'm just going to, you don't need a lip liner. In fact, you're not supposed to use a lip liner. You just put it very evenly on your lips. You're not supposed to blot your lips together, but I do anyway. And I always like to stick my finger in my mouth and pull it out just because it helps get all that extra stuff off the inside of your mouth. Now I'm just gonna let that dry. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot with cheeks. I have a fuller face, so no matter what I do, I like to give myself some cheekbones. So I'm going to use uh, my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil because I love it. And I'm just gonna give myself a little contour. And again, another thing, it doesn't look all that attractive while you're doing it. Since this is a romantic look, I'm gonna go with a very sort of flushed, youthful, and innocent cheek. I'm gonna take my big fluffy Too Faced brush and my absolute favorite blush, which is the Milani Baked Blush in Delicioso Pink. And then I'm gonna smile and then get that real innocent look right on the apples of the cheeks. Again, you look really stupid when you're doing it. I like to take my big fluffy sort of powder brush and just kind of go over it, everything, just to blend it in so I don't get any harsh lines or anything. And then I'm gonna take my Too Faced Candlelit Glow. It's got like a pinky color in it. And it's sort of like a pinky goldy highlighter thing, supposed to sort of emulate candlelight. And I'm actually gonna take my fan brush, which I've actually never knew what these things were for until I saw a few YouTube videos of people using these to apply highlighter. So I thought, hey, why not? So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush here. And then I'm just going to very subtly add a candlelit glow. Anywhere where the candlelight would just sort of naturally your face and now while I've been doing that my lipstick has been drying and I'm just gonna take the other end of the lipstick which is the balm I actually much prefer long-lasting lipsticks that have a balm with them than a gloss I'm more of a balm girl than a gloss girl I don't know what that says about me but that's just what it is and I'm just gonna go over the lipstick this lipstick will last all day you have to keep re reapplying the balm like after you eat after you make out whatever you have planned for your Valentine's Day, but this lipstick will stay put. It'll fade a little bit, but it's not gonna like just completely wipe off, and it takes a lot to get this off. And that's our look. This is very, it's very sweet, soft, romantic, uh, perfect for like a romantic dinner date. To complete the look, I just did some very soft waves with my clamp-free curling iron. I'm still kind of getting used to those. Uh, but I just wanted to do some nice soft waves, nothing too harsh, nothing too dramatic, just something very soft and romantic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you check out EverydayStarlet.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.